It is sometimes difficult to facilitate discussions during online meetings or lessons. In this video, we will see some of the new features in Microsoft Teams and how they may help with discussions. Once you click Join Meeting from an email, calendar or channel invite, you will land on the new Microsoft Teams meeting screen. You will notice the meeting will be in its own window. This means you can minimise, resize or move it around the screen, therefore allowing you access to your other chat conversations in channels or private chats and will also allow you access to other features within the Teams app. However, if you wanted to access the chat messages for this specific meeting, the Meeting Control Panel has a Conversation tab. This will display any notices, chat messages or files shared during the meeting. The second feature to help with discussions is the Raise Your Hand feature. This is very useful if participants have a question or need to raise something during the meeting without speaking over someone else. During online lessons, I encourage my students to use this feature as I can quickly address any misconceptions or questions they may have, and it has helped with facilitating discussions during debates. When a student raises their hand, the student's screen panel flashes yellow, and the teacher will see a notification appear on the meeting control panel. Clicking on the participants icon will open a panel with all the attendees listed and those with their hands raised are clearly shown with the hand symbol. The teacher can then unmute the students' microphone or ask the students to unmute it themselves. If needed, the teacher can lower the hand by clicking on the three dots and select lower hand. Click on the next video option to see how you can download an attendee register to track attendance in your online lessons or meetings and click on the subscribe button so you know when more useful videos are released.